Hi friends, and today I received new lens from Nikon Baltic Club. Let's see what is inside. I have some projects next year uh, in uh, Africa and I need some bigger friends than this one. This is 70 to 200 Nikkor Z 2.8 VRS lens. Good, good friend, but I need something bigger. Let's try. Let's open. Ho, 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 ho. Let's see what is inside. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's 180 till 600. F 5.6 till 6.3 VR lens. What we have here? Oh, Anneke, friend from Rene. One of the best shops in whole Europe. I will put a link down here in the description. You can buy from them if you can cannot find some of the lenses in your store. Let's open this one. Let's see. Nice one. Oh, what I have here? Strap. Thank you, Rene. And here, nothing else. Let's remove this one and let's see. This one, huge, huge Z mount for a very good price. I know that it have been, how to say, the price is going up on this one because it's very affordable. A lot of people are buying a Nikon put a 200 euros more for that. And what we have here, discount card from Files of M. I will quickly show you. With this discount code, you can, you can have 25 discount on file storage. I have more videos about this. I think this is the best file storage right now for photographers and videographers. Put it here and this is photo academia shop online shop the real store in tartu you can go here or visit online and you will see good prices for nikon lenses we will put it here and let's open manuals manuals serial numbers warranties I don't look right now. Let's open. I think it's a blend. It's a cleaning clothes. Yes, the huge one. And now the blend. Wow. <laughs> the biggest I have right now. Put right now everything here inside. Let's see the lens itself. Ooh. Today I will go straight and test this lens. I will put link in the description with straight off from camera JPEX. I will put here that you can see the, the box and what, oh my goodness. You see the huge, huge, let's put, oh my goodness. You see how huge it is. Zooming, what is that? I hope I don't need that. 
let's remove it off Z mount and holy moly Whoa. it's crazy big it's heavy let's compare the size this lens is good for wildlife i will put length you can see 7200 how it's it is here you can compare the sizes it's good for wildlife animals uh, sports if you can't afford like for i don't know something more lighter like, like this one i'm not shooting a lot of sports and i'm not shooting wildlife but sometimes i'm traveling and i need to shoot some animals far away and today will be my kids football play football game football training and i will try this lens um, if you want to review full review because this is like box opening with more details from me and some examples in description but if you want some more deeper review just write in comments if you're dreaming about this lens and you don't have a money enough because right now it costs about 2000 euros uh, you can buy much much cheaper it is a uh, artisan i will put a link where you can buy it yes tt artisan 500 f6.3 it is manual lens still heavy and it costs about 400 euros but it is manual you can compare the sizes i think they're very very close to each other i will put off the blend and here blend i think it, you can it's the same size you can see the same length maybe which is more heavier i think they are close to each other but one is manual not original this is original and without a focus and you have ability to zoom from 180 till 600 but it's a big price price difference if you want full review or compa comparison with both just write me in comments i will try to find uh, some time and make some test shots and comparison and make some video if you want me to make test review comparison to 70 to 200 maybe on, i put 200 here and 200 and see what is the difference in a picture in the blur in bokeh i can try it and now let's try to see how it looks on the smallest nikon i have it is z72 oh my goodness <laughs> it's incredible to hold like this one oh i need to more training to shoot like this one with one hand but normally you shoot with both 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 hands and monopod or tripod but you see it's focusing very quick i will try definitely today this lens on a field with kids playing football and it is not so comfy with one hand let's put on z9 here is z9 oh 
some more weight on my hand shoulder and back it is oh like this one it is impossible to work you definitely need two hands but you see right now it's i think it will be too dark to make some test shot let's see oh my goodness in my room it's ice auto iso iso goes to 1250 you see this crazy crazy lens let's test it i will put in a link some some link with picture with pictures straight of camera you can download zoom see 100 percent view and understand i read reviews that it's very sharp the only minus it's dark you need to go much higher iso to shoot with this lens in bad uh, lightning conditions but I will be shooting football in a sunny weather, I will be in Africa till in the middle of the day and I don't want to spend five grand on tele zoom lens. This is the cheapest, more affordable lens to shoot. If you guys have questions, put in the comments, like, subscribe and soon will be more box openings and if you want, I will make more reviews special for you. See you! Hi friends! And here are my test shots. I will go through quickly through them. And I put a link in description here in uh, Files FM. I put all these JPEGs straight from camera without edits. You can download them, watch them, I just delete the bad ones. And you can go quickly through them all by yourself if you need that. And here is raw files I imported in Lightroom. Here's like my first uh, test shot. I was going to my kids' uh, football <coughs> training and I see the plane and just take a picture. The first sharpness is very good. It's a nice one. You can see here in the upper left corner the data, ISO, shutter speed, how millimeters uh, on the lens was used. And yes, this is 180 till 600. Next shot is building. Here is the same building, 180 mils. And here is the same zoomed with 600. This building is approximately 200 meters away from me. I have a GPS coordinate. Here is a building. I just calculate the distance and calculate with the height of the building. And 200 meters away and this is maximum like two people hate maybe three people if there's somebody imagine that somebody is standing here and you can still zoom perfectly and the quality is very very good you see the silver maybe there's some photographer living <laughs> reflector nice one Okay, and then I go to the, my kids' training, and there was sunny weather. Uh, I think this is lens for sunny weather, or you will be needed to push up your ESO much, much higher. For example, you can see 400 millimeters, 500 ESO, 1500 second f6. 0.3 and you can totally catch all persons kids emotions uh, and sharpness is very very good you can see that 
I can see every hair on, on his head and this is six, 600 millimeters maximum zoom. This is from the same place 180 millimeters. You can see the differences. Lens is very good for that price. Only you will you will have problems when you will shoot indoors. For outdoors, it's an excellent excellent lens. You can see it far away. She even don't see me, and we have very beautiful every. It's one hundred zoom, and you can see every detail i love it you can see a little birdie i will take auto settings nice i just go quickly show you the pictures you can see you can watch the old data here in upper left corner and nobody, nobody from persons who I shoot was not imagine that I'm shooting them. The distance was far, far away. And the bokeh is very, very interesting. I will show you later. Uh, at the end of the video, I take some test shots with bokeh. And you see the sunny weather. I can shoot all action very good. This is ISO 200. I can see every hair here perfectly. Very good. Testing zoom out 180 mils. And sharpness very good in the corners. Nice. Nice performance, nice. It was heavy. I shoot with Nikon Z9. But it was not so hard. For for example, if some client client asks me to shoot all the day, I maybe will take a tripod or monopod to shoot it easier. But there was a training one hour and it was easy for me to walk around with this lens. Uh, here is uh, my friend. It was driving towards me. I was trying to catch him. You can see the motion. I catch it. Maybe a little bit out of focus. Because his speed was a nice. You can see. Uh, everything perfectly here nice you can an autofocus was working very good in sunny weather if you have some sports wildlife I can definitely recommend it football balls bokeh crazy bokeh, bokeh of grass Kids playing, having fun. I'm not correcting this picture, just straight from, from a camera. It was definitely focusing on a face. It's a little bit blurred because he was running a lot and one of 400 seconds can't catch him in a freeze. But for example, you can put more ISO and catch him. It was just first testing of this lens outdoors. I will try definitely this lens in a in a shadow or cloudy weather. I will put in a link when you can just see how the ISO goes up. And I will try to shoot in the indoors. Here was just some 
test shot to see the bouquet. It's very interesting. I just try some this gra grass shoot shooting. And this is 600 mils. You can put a Lego here inside the grass and have an interesting shot. You can just download these pictures in a link in the description and to see yourself. Do you like them? How is the sharpness? And the kids are playing. For example, this shot, we can zoom in, you can perfectly see all hairs. Everything very good. I am very happy with this lens. I just bought it because I have some projects in Africa in the next year and this lens is going up uh, in a sales, in a price tag. Here is my friend, he was far away, maybe 100 meters. And everything perfect. I remember my old Sigma lenses, the sharpness was terrible. And this is definitely very, very good lens. Here you can see in a shadow, it's from sunny weather, it's ISO 200. And here he went in a shadow and ISO goes to 900. One more plane flying. And here was a total shadow. You can see that ISO goes to 2500 with f6.3 at 600 millimeters focal distance. And here he was going and I was taking picture through the net and he just very good performing autofocus. I was surprised that for this moment that in a shadow with so dark lens it was performing very good. I was really surprised. I want that feeling in indoor shooting. Maybe he, there ISO will be 10,000 but I will try and put a in the link down here in description, more examples. I need to more testing, but the first impression is wow. For that price, so good sharpness. Here's my friends walking towards me. Everything very good. Okay, guys, thank you. Like, su subscribe and see you in more tests, more box openings, more about photography. Thank you.